Mobile Phone Tower Types and Information A mobile phone tower consists of multiple parts, most of which are owned by different companies. Typically, a mobile phone tower is built either by a tower company or a wireless carrier looking to expand their network coverage and or capacity. Many inquiries that we receive actually confuse a tower with the antennae that are placed on a rooftop. We have two towers on our roof. What they mean to say is that we have two sets of antennae on our roof. Towers, commonly used for wireless telecommunications, come in a variety of types. Number 1. Lattice Towers Lattice towers are freestanding and segmentally designed with rectangular or triangular base steel lattices. This type of tower construction can be useful in situations which require modifications such as mounting large number of panel or dish antennas. They can be used as electricity transmission towers, radio towers, or as an observation tower. The Eiffel Tower is a famous example of a lattice tower. Number 2. Guide Towers Guide towers can be lightweight to heavyweight towers often seen as slender steel structures. Commonly seen in the tower industry, guide towers are designed to provide maximum strength, efficiency, and versatility with easy installation. They are supported by one or more levels of braided or stranded steel guy cables that anchor to the ground. Number 3. Monopole Towers Monopole towers work well when space is limited, zoning is difficult or harsh weather conditions need to be considered. Designed as a single pole that can be a tubular section design or a formed, tapered pole, they are the least intrusive, making them the most popular tower types in the wireless communication industry. Because of the single pole design, it advantageously reduces visual impact and results in a shorter construction time and typically cost, compared to traditional lattice structures. Many monopoles can also be designed as stealth, camouflage towers. Number 4. Camouflage Towers Camouflage towers are typically used in urban areas when the need to reduce visual impact on the environment is a concern. They are often seen in the form of artificial pine trees, palm trees, clock towers, and even in the form of artificial cacti. Number 5. Self-Support Towers Self-support towers offer the most possibilities compared to other types of telecom towers and are considered appropriate for nearly all wireless communication applications. Available in three-legged triangular and four-legged square lattice-type structures, their braces can accommodate the heaviest of loads and the strongest of winds. Their design is ideal for installations where space requirements may be limited and often inexpensive to purchase, transport and install. Mobile Cell Towers Mobile cell towers, tower on wheels, Cell on wheels are considered low profile and portable because they are often mounted on trailers. Coming with a portable, small footprint, mobile cell towers are discreet and very versatile. They are often used in temporary or emergency situations, however, they are also useful if budget or permits are of concern. Thanks for watching. If you are fresh telecom graduates, Subscribe our channel for latest telecom tutorial videos.